What is the worst movie you've ever seen? No, I'm not talking about Transformers 2 or Grown Ups 2. I mean a movie so bad, so fundamentally broken, that it leaves a pit in your stomach or makes you feel frustrated and angry beyond any reasonable measure. This is a question I've been asking myself for a while, and I think it's about time to do something about it. So I've pulled up the list of the bottom 100 lowest rated movies on IMDb, and I'm going through them one by one to find the worst movie ever. Welcome to the search for the worst. Zat is the worst thing in the history of anything ever. Clocking in at just under 1 hour and 40 minutes, Zat took me on a journey through every type of emotion I think a human can go through. I laughed, I cried, I was scared, and I also got angry. Very, very angry. As the movie began, I was immediately confused. I was also kind of freaked out. There's this creepy voice who's describing a bunch of sea creatures and how great they are. <laughs> I love you. I assume it's just stock footage, and this is not the only time they use it in the movie, but I don't know, I actually kind of like it. We're then introduced to our titular character. I don't really know his name, and he never actually opens his mouth to say anything. All his dialogue is through inner monologues. There have fish the size they've never seen before. Walking fish. <laughs> Who like human flesh. For the next 10 minutes, he just sort of wanders around and does unintentionally creepy things, like feeling an octopus tentacle or torturing innocent fish. We eventually figure out he's a crazy scientist who's planning to create something called Zat. The formula they all laughed at. Z sub A and A sub T. My little gem, Zat. The dialogue's all very ham-fisted and strange, but whatever, I can forgive that at the start of the movie. He takes his shirt off and injects himself with this weird yellow shit. This is a common theme with this movie, things just happening and them not explaining how or why. I like the fact that his creepy science lab has all these supposed to be high-tech computers. It's back in the time where the thought process was, how do we make technology look all future-y? I don't know, just put a billion flashing lights on it. So he climbs onto this really unstable looking metal cage with a hodgepodge of tangled ropes on it. And you can tell that this guy's genuinely worried by the way he's slow slowly and carefully moving us to not tip the precariously balanced cage and end up being tangled in a mess of metal and rope while he slowly drowns. They show this weird red stuff being pumped into the water, and then he graciously lowers himself into the pool. And boom, he turns into Zat, because movie. So this is Zat, the real protagonist of the film, I guess. The problem is the suit is made in such a way that the dude inside blatantly can't see a goddamn thing. Look, he just tripped. Oh look, he, he tripped again. Huh, I guess he tried to cross out that picture with a pen, but missed because he couldn't see. Oh, and again. Christ almighty, I hope he doesn't drown while trying to swim around in that suit. Look how slowly he swims because it's so heavy. Right, so let me try to explain the plot of this film. A mad scientist turns himself into Zap because he wants to take over the world with sea creatures. That power sounds familiar. And together, we'll conquer the universe. Okay, it's done, but they establish that he's a lunatic, so that's okay. <laughs> they think I'm insane. They're the ones who are insane. But once he becomes Zat, he keeps going over to this weird calendar and just sort of looks at it or draws a girl he has a crush on, which is followed by three or four scenes of Zat either stalking ladies or getting revenge on people who rightfully criticise him for being fucking crazy. I always did get a chuckle out of how Zat supposedly kills people. It's like he keeps changing his mind as to what super Zat powers he has. He kills this girl by punching her and then completely missing. <laughs> He then strangles a guy, he straight up brawls with this guy, and then like, kills this guy for no reason and starts to pretend to eat him with his fake ass looking mouth. Okay, but still, that's that's not the plot. Right, um, so what is the plot? Um, so Zat wants to find a mate, for whatever reason. 
so he stalks a girl until he decides to strike, captures her, attempts to turn her into a zat in the same way he did himself. Oh look, she held her nose before being dunked. But the experiment doesn't work and she just dies. So zat dissolves her in some science liquid and then goes looking for another innocent lady to murder. I enjoyed any scene where zat was either just wandering around murdering people or letting out his rage on locked doors or appliances. Spliced in between the Zat scenes are these god awful interactions with people from around the local town. Biggest bunch of foolishness I ever seen. There are four main human characters. I don't know any of their names, but it doesn't matter because they all end up dying anyway. This lady and bloke are from this weird company called Inpit. I kept wanting to call them Armpit. But anyway, they're here to investigate why people are randomly being murdered by walking fish. This is the sheriff who really does nothing for the entire movie. And then there's this black guy who's the most proactive person in the entire cast. But all four of these characters just sort of flounder around being hilariously inept. My personal favourite scene is when they somehow manage to get Zat trapped in a net, but then Zat furiously tugs at it and one of the dudes gets comedically thrown into the water. It actually looks like it really hurts. There's also this other funny scene where Zat needs to get medicine because he got stabbed or something in an earlier encounter. He eventually finds the medicine he needs, drinks it, but then you can clearly hear it drain straight back out of the mask and dribble onto the floor. Then there's this baffling scene where a bunch of people from the local town are sat in this hall and singing a song. Then they all commute to the local jail and lock themselves in it to be safe from Zat. And that scene literally takes up about 10 minutes of the movie. You just... You just can't make this shit up. So over an hour and five minutes have passed by this point and then suddenly out of nowhere the sheriff says he remembers there was a crazy old scientist who was always on about turning himself into a fish or something. A human fish. Sounds like something old Doc Leopold might try. He was known as a nut. Folks laughed at him. Said he was once trying to get volunteers off a death row in prison to try experiments on. Is that for real, Lou? Yeah, there was a rumor going around that he uh, was trying to... Uh, to what? Turn a man into a fish. Damn, Lou, why didn't you tell us sooner? But by then, Zat has already abducted this lady, and he's getting ready to turn her into another Zat. So the three dudes manage to get to where Zat lives. The sheriff gets killed pretty much instantly. The black guy actually puts up quite a good fight, which makes Zat run off with these weird canisters for some reason. Then the black guy stops the girl from being lowered into the Zat blood juice stuff but then he dies. The final guy alive manages to get a few shots into Zat before he escapes into the ocean, and then for no reason at all, the girl is suddenly brainwashed by Zat and then just wanders into the ocean because movie. The guy then dies because he was bitten earlier by a snake. And that's that, everybody. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I had a pretty good time watching Zap. There was a certain innocence it had because it took itself so seriously. But at the same time, an hour and 40 minutes is way too long for a movie like this. It just gets boring and frustrating after a while. I really have no idea how this movie managed to have such a long running time and just have so much nothing. It's filmed in this really weird plodding way where Zat just walks around for a bit, goes swimming, pops out the water to have a look at people, kills them, and then repeats for an hour or so. I was imagining the whole time that this was actually a story about a crazy guy who thought he turned himself into a fish creature but actually in fact was a murdering psychopath. Made it a little bit more interesting. Now, this movie's certainly no masterpiece or anything but it's certainly my favourite movie so far in the search for the worst. Let's have a look at the ranking of the best of the worst in the search for the worst. Good on you Zat. You're the best shitty movie I've seen so far. I mean, you're still terrible, but good on you anyway. And up next on the search for the worst is... The Oogie Loves and the Big Balloon Adventure. What?
So there it is, ladies and gents, Zat. What a hilariously bizarre movie. But anyway, what do you think? Do you like or dislike the video? Does that look amazingly amazing or amazingly terrible to you? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.